Hey, hey guys, what's up? I wanted to show you this motor that I've been working on. In the meantime of printing out different parts for this piece. So this is a bipolar Bedini. And um, it's basically two window mo motors 90 degrees apart. And they got two separate circuits on this thing. And the idea is eventually, you know, like the old school Bedini SSG with the, you know, the pulley and the cap discharge circuit. I'm going to do that just to see what it, what it does. I built a lot of Bedinis and this one is probably the one that I like the best. And it's, it's real easy to um, put together two screws on each side and you can take this whole thing apart. And then you got two, uh, four screws on each side of these. And you can take the rotor off, but the way it's it's made, it's so you can swap uh, coils really efficiently and, and, and easy. And then, so in self-residence mode, when you turn it on, right, the output of the uh, the flyback diodes comes in this white, and then the, the negative goes back to uh, the positive. And if you look at this, I'm getting 144 volts back uh, back EMF. Now. If I adjust the voltage, there's a sweet spot, you know what I mean? Right about there. That's so let's give it a little kick, see what see what happens. So, I mean, it does pretty good like this, but this thing really likes to run at like 30 volts. So, let's take it up a little bit. Let's get some nice RPMs. So, that's max. And I could probably even take it up higher. Because these things are cold. So let's try something. I got an LED. And I am just going to... Connect it across the positive as a ground and see what happens. It's got a flicker. If I put a, a smooth cap on it, it would probably smooth out. But let's see what happens when we use an incandescent light bulb. RPMs drop. It illuminates. What happens if we stick it to the ground? Wow. It actually does a lot better. Look at that. That's the incandescent. And I'm feeling heat coming off of it. And it's only drawing 400 milliamps. Of course, the motor speeds up without a load on it. Put this one back on. I mean, that's pretty bright. <clears throat> Set off this overhead light. It's pretty bright. If I take it off. Screw in this incandescent. Well, look at that.
Anyway, there's probably aspects about this flyback that we're not quite 100% sure about. See how this thing charges up a 450 volt, 2000 microfarad capacitor. I get it run up to speed and then I connect the uh, negative to the positive as a ground. If I connect it to the negative, it wants to die out my motor for some reason. Okay. Seems like it's up to speed. I mean, I've, I've charged up faster capacitors than this. Stop at 200. 